Hello, my name is Dr. Ansi Verdi at Worcester Periodontics. Today we're going to talk about atraumatic extractions, a fresh perspective. Now we all remember when we were in dental school, they taught us to use elevators and forceps, and a lot of times that we know now from the literature that we can lose that one to two millimeters of bone, especially on the labial plate. You lose that bone, and believe me, the architecture of the bone really changes, and even the soft tissue architecture changes as well. So what we're trying to think about now is how can we get the atraumatic extraction, preserving the labial and the palatal plate of bone, so that we can get ideal results, even sometimes without even grafting. So today I'm going to talk to you about what we use here. Of course we use the elevator and we use the forceps, but the first thing that we do is we try to use the periotome. This little instrument right here can do a lot of the work for you. What it does is that we use it around the teeth, slowly using it to sever the PDL ligaments. Now I'll tell you, I take a couple minutes before I do anything with this thing. I'll leave it in there for a couple minutes. It might even take you 20 minutes just severing the PDL. But the time that you take of using the PDL and severing it will save you so much more time because it's doing the work for you. So the lateral forces of the forceps is what's going to break the bone around the teeth. We want to sever the PDL, slowly rotate with the forceps, 30 degrees, 20 degrees, and then eventually what you do is you extract the tooth. It'll come out, you preserve the bone, you preserve the soft tissue, and if you want to add autogenous or xenograft bone after that, that'll still get you the results that you want. So in essence, periotomes, using the PDL, taking your time, will achieve the results that you want in not only soft tissue architecture, but also hard tissue. This is Dr. Anti Verdier from Worcester Periodontics.